Hello, welcome back. This is lesson A, Jalebis, uh, from your book, It's a Happen. And now, I'm going to discuss question answer with you. So here we go. Number first, why didn't he pay the school fees on the day he brought money to school? Answer. Despite having money, the narrator returned without paying school fees as Master Ghulam Muhammad, who collected it, remained absent on that day. Number second. Second part first. What were the coins saying to him? Answer. The coins in their attempt in tricking him into buying hot jalebis made a logical point, saying oh, they were meant only to be eaten by those having money. Question number second, part two. Do you think they were misguiding him? Answer, oh, that was the case indeed. The money lying in his pocket was meant only for the fees and in no case could be used for any other purpose. Number third, why didn't he take the coin's advice and give two or three reasons? Answer, first, the money was for school fees. Second, high, high social status barred him from taking things at a stall. Third, he had enough of everything at home. Number four, but first, what did the oldest coin tell him? Answer, the oldest coin, claiming to be narrator's well-wisher, asked for an honest reply from the narrator if he really hadn't liked eating hot jalebis. Question four, part second. Did he follow his advice? If not, why not? Answer, he did not follow the advice of the oldest coin. It was his prestige and the reputation of the family that held him back. Number fifth, he reached, question number fifth that is, he reached home with the coins in his pocket. What happened then? Answer, reaching home as he was preparing for the lunch, the coins raised a pro once again, forcing him to run barefoot to bazaar for jalebis. Question number six, but first, why didn't he eat all the jalebis he had bought? Answer, he devoured as much jalebis as he could, but one rupee worth of it was too much for him. Question number six, part second, what did he do with the remaining jalebis? Answer, Having had his stomach full, he distributed them among the children of the neighborhood, who had appeared there all of a sudden. Number seventh, the fear was killing me. What was the fear? Answer. Digestion of the jalebis after having it had become the real issue now as with every breath and burp there was a danger of jalebis popping out of his mouth. Number eight. Children's stomach are like digestion machines. What do you understand by that? Do you agree? Answer. The machines work so fine and smoothly that oh, they can digest anything in any amount that they are asked to do so. Number nine. How did he plan to pay the fees the next day? Answer. The author had planned to pay the fees 
with the scholarship money he was due to receive the next day, unaware of the fact how how things might take a different course. Number ten. When it is time to pay the fees, what does he do? How is he disobeying the elders by doing so? Answer. During recess, when the fees was to be collected, the narrator tucked his bag under his arm and ran away from there. The elders had warned him against crossing the railway tracks, but he raised Gumbale for a station. Question number 11. What was the consequence of buying jalebis with the fees money? Answer. As a result of spending his fees money on jalebis, he had to skip classes that he did first time in his life. Number 12. His prayer to God was like a lawyer's defense of a bad case. Does he argue his case well? What are the points he makes? Answer. He tries to please God with please and namaz. He admits his mistake and says, he wouldn't have spent the money on jalebis if only he could know about the delay in scholarship. In this way, he argues his case like a lawyer. Number 13. He offers to play a game with Allah Mia. What is the game? Answer. Or the game he thought of playing was to go up to the signal, touch it, and return to the place, expecting him to place four rupees under the rock there in the meantime. Number 13 now. Sorry, number 14. Did he get four rupees by playing the game? What did he get to see under the rock? Answer. No, he didn't get anything. When he lifted the rock, he found a worm instead. This is going to be warm. W -O -R -M, W-O-R-M. Warm. Number 15 and the last question from this chapter. And the question is, if God had granted his wish the next day, what harm would it have caused him in later life? Answer. If God had granted his wish the other day, he wouldn't have learned a lesson. He would have committed more mistakes in life and had never cared to mend his manners. And with this, we have come to the end of uh, this question-answer section. Thank you.